On free code camp between JavaScript algos and data structures, we're in the regular expressions course on challenge 5 of 33, and today we're going to extract matches. So in the last lessons, we've learned how to test for matches, which tell us true or false, right? Does it contain the value or not uh, that we're looking for in the expression? Now we're going to learn how to match them and actually extract the matches. So any potential substring that matches, we want to return that string out of the match method. So to do this, uh, we can use the match method and apply on a string and pass the regex inside the parentheses. So this is why I kind of get confused between test and match, because match, you you call match on the string. So you can see our string equals the string of regular expressions. You say our string dot match, and then you pass match the expression as opposed to dot test which dot test you call dot test on the regex you would say our regex dot test and you would pass the test the string so these are vice versa you call on the string and pass the regex test you do the opposite okay so that's one thing to know uh, here in this example we would return our this this expression here where we actually use the match method would return an array with the word hello in it and uh, the second part, so I guess this part would return the hello, and the second part would return the an array with the word expressions in it because that's the match it found, right? This first part, we're taking this hello world string and matching the word hello, and then in the second part, we're taking this regular expression string and matching the word expressions. So we get an array back of whatever the match is, okay? So note that the match syntax is the opposite of the test. Okay, so that's, I'm glad they actually said that. So you can see this is the string. You call dot match on the string, and then you pa you pass the regex expression as the argument. When with test, you call, you take the expression, call test, and pass the string. So that's what I was referencing, is that they're, you use them backwards, but they're both regular expression methods that both kind of test a string for something, right? Test just tells you if it's in there, match actually returns it to you if it finds it. So all we're gonna do for this example is use this code and use the match method to extract the string coding from this extract string, okay? So looking at this, we have a variable extract string. It's a string that has some words in it. We're gonna pull this coding out of it. We then have a coding regex, which is a blank regex for us to change. And then we have a result, and that's gonna. This is gonna be our expression that we're going to our match method, our match expression. Okay. So first things first, we probably need to change our regex so it actually targets the word that we're looking for. Okay. So first off, you can see uh, use the math match method to extract the string coding. So we're looking for the word coding. So even if we don't know much else about regex, just from this example, we can see with the match method, the forward slash word forward slash is how we find that exact word. So let's change this change to coding. So now we're looking for the word coding because it's between the forward slashes. And that's that we already know is the ba basic, basic fundamental of how regex works. Okay, cool. So now our regex expression is actually going to find the right word. It's going to target the right word. Now we actually need to use the match method and call it and call the match method to actually get the right word. So once again, when you have a, a method or a function like a match, when you assign it to a variable like result, whatever that method returns to you is assigned to the variable, right? So what I'm saying is a function call or a method call is equal to what it returns. So if I say result equals uh, a function call like this, like a function call like the match function, which is just a built-in method, a built-in function. Um, if I said result equals this expression, result is equal to whatever this expression returns, right? So we know match returns us an array of any potential matches. So thusly, result is equal to that array that the match method returns, okay? So let's let's see this in action. So result equals, and now this is where we need to make our, our actual method call, our function call. So we need to take the string, because that's what we know, we take the string and we dot match the string. So this is the string, extract string, 
and we're going to dot match. And then what do we want to match? We want to match the regex. So pass in coding regex. And now if we just console log result, once again, I've done this in all the previous lessons, but just to show you, you can see this result is this array. So it's an array, it contains the word coding, and then it also contains some other information from the uh, from the tests that Free Code Camp does. But the, the key here is that you can see if I console log result, result is equal to this method call, this function call of match, the match method. And when I console log the result, I get back an array with the word coding in it. So this is really all we needed to do for this lesson. It should pass, there we go. And we don't even need the console log. That was just to show you that yes, we do in fact get the, the word that we matched out of it. So we can really erase this and this is really the solution, right? Match the word coding, forward slash coding. That's the expression, forward slash. And then get the result out of the match method. So take the string dot match the string with the expression which is this variable and then that's assigned to this variable so thusly this method call this function call once again is equal to what it returns so thusly result is equal to the the output of this the return of this which is an array with the word coding hence why console.log result we get coding in an array. So that's all we need to do. I hope that helped. Hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to always leave them in the comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.